is a school with over 600 students. There is a good chance that some things will experience wear and tear. But is some of that avoidable? Walking through the halls of Savannah Heights, there is evidence that some students are not taking care of the resources they have. So you see this um, uh, this um, uh, bulletin board is very damaged in many ways. You see the F on the mask is has a lot of staples in it and it's hanging on by one hole by one staple. These are very damaged things by students. We have this book. She has put light on it and now it is growing mold. It has deformation and is deformed on the pages. It has discoloration in the interior. That's not the only book. We also have this Harry Potter book which has fruit spilled on it and the cover has been severely scratched. And this is it. This is the only one I have today. I also have this book which I can't even read the title because it's been all ripped off. Okay. You see here among this trash and dust and litter there are um, pe broken pencils which have not been broken accidentally. I don't see how you accidentally lost that from pencil in your hand. And students are complaining that you, you know, because I've seen it, that you know they don't have pencils and they have to ask the teacher. And this is why. Administrators at Savannah Heights How said do some thoughts students, on that. Other students treat campus property. For the most part, I think our students treat campus property well. Considering we have about 650 kids, we do have occasional graffiti, for instance, in the bathroom, but very rarely do we have it throughout the campus. And so I would like to commend our kids for doing a good job in keeping our school clean. What do you think? that we can do to stop disrespecting school property, such as the... I think it comes back to understanding what respect is about. When you disrespect school property, you, you don't understand what respect is about. And so that comes back to lessons like we have in positive behavior, where we learn about how important it is not only to treat others well, but to treat the things that you live and work with well, which might be your desk, it might be the bathroom wall, or it might be the school wall. And when you have a lot of kids in a school, um, there's a lot of people that want that use the school, so you have to make sure over time that it stays looking beautiful so that you have a good place to learn. Cool. How do you think other students treat campus property? Um, well, for the most part, I think um, students are pretty much respectful of school property uh, because that is one of the things that we try to teach uh, students at the very beginning of this of the school year is to respect uh, school property um, although on occasion we do have um, a little bit of writing on the walls and things like that what do you think we can do to stop students from disrespecting school property well I think one of the things that we need to do to help stop it is to educate them the that um, School is for um, not only them, but for other kids that come through our schools in the, in the future. And we have to maintain um, the school as, as neat and uh, as best that we can. It seems that some students at Savannah Heights are being pretty responsible still by stopping and thinking about how we treat the things around us. The school will remain a place of pride for years to come.